Burglary and robbery are terms you've definitely heard before, but there's a great chance that at some point in your life you've heard someone say, whether it be in real life, on TV, a movie, you've heard someone say, we've been robbed, when they should say, we've been burglarized. So in this video, we're going to distinguish between the two offenses, burglary and robbery, so that we for sure in the future know how to use these terms. Let's take a look at burglary first. This is the definition of burglary as found in section 30.02 in the Texas Penal Code. First you'll notice this, this offense is found in chapter 30, which is burglary and criminal trespass, title 7 offenses against property. So this is specifically the portion we're looking at, 30.02, which defines the offense of burglary. There's also burglary of coin-operated machines, there's burglary of vehicles, and then you get down into the criminal trespass. So this uh, document, this section, this chapter is pretty long, but we're only really paying attention to 30.02, which is burglary. Uh, 30.01 is some definitions, building vehicle, we're not going to worry too much about it. So in general, burglary is a combination offense. It takes two separate lesser offenses, and when you combine them together and, and they happen at the same time for the same function, it makes it a worse offense. So the two offenses that we're looking at committing to make a burglary are a trespass, and the second is either a theft or an offense. And the state of Texas also includes any other felony. So if you commit a trespass in order to commit a felony, theft, or assault, we're, we're talking about a burglary. So the first thing we're going to look at is the idea of trespass. Without the effective consent of the owner, the person enters. What does he enter? He enters a habitation, a building, uh, not then open to the public, uh, and then uh, when he enters, he has the intention to commit a felony theft or assault. So that's one version of burglary. A second version would be uh, uh, 30.02A2 remains concealed with intent to commit a felony theft or assault in a building or habitation. So uh, the first one is you enter the building unlawfully. You enter without permission. And the second one is you stay within a building uh, without permission. So for example... Uh, one of the, the greatest kid movies of all times, uh, Home Alone, uh, Lost in New York, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, the, the robbers, the thieves, the burglars, Harry and Marv, uh, go into the children's toy store while it's open, but then they hide out and they wait for it to be closed, and then they steal money from the, the toy store. That would be considered a burglary uh, under the Texas Penal Code because they remain concealed with intent to commit a felony theft or assault. And then the third option is you enter a building or habitation and, and uh, commit or attempt to commit a felony theft or assault. So just really quickly to distinguish between number one and number three, number one is you enter the building with the intent and doesn't matter whether you actually uh, commit the assault, uh, the theft, or the felony. If you entered with the intent to do so, you've satisfied the elements of the offense. And number three accounts for situations in which someone might enter without the intent to commit a felony, a theft, or an assault, but once they enter, they actually do commit a felony, theft, or assault. So three uh, would prevent someone from saying, I didn't go in with the intent, I just decided to once I was there. Uh, and using that as an excuse to get out of a prosecution. Uh, so again, burglary, number one, two, and three, some version of unlawful entry to commit a felony, theft, or assault. And, and the most notable part of uh, burglary is that it requires no victims to be present. And that's going to be one of the major distinguishing features between burglary and robbery. Typically, burglaries don't involve a face-to-face -face confrontation with a person. If they do, it's going to change that offense to something worse. So now let's take a look at robbery. Robbery is a, a much shorter uh, chapter, chapter 29, uh, again, found in uh, Title Seven. This is a unique uh, kind of conversation with robbery. Uh, robbery is a crime against property as it's considered in Texas. Um, you'll find some uh, conversations, uh, textbooks maybe, that consider robbery to be a crime against a person. And that's, again, the distinguishing feature that we're going to uh, focus on uh, primarily uh, uh, to to give it a, an easy answer, is robbery always involves a human victim. It has to be some sort of interaction. 
Um, and uh, so let's look at this definition. There's again uh, terms in the course of committing theft, property, uh, but 29.02 of the Texas Penal Code is the definition of robbery. A robbery uh, is committed when a, a person in the course of committing theft intentionally, knowingly, or recklessly causes bodily injury to another or intentionally, intentionally or knowingly threatens or places another in fear of imminent bodily injury or death. And then there, we're not going to look at this one, but there's an aggravated robbery version, more serious injury, use of a deadly weapon. So again, just like burglary, this is a combination offense. It takes two lesser offenses, and when they combine to happen at the same time, it makes it a more serious offense. So this one um, is uh, a little simpler. It, it takes the offense of assault and theft, and when they happen together, um, they make it a, uh, a robbery. So in the course of committing theft could mean uh, attempting to commit, during the commission of, uh, uh, in the immediate flight after committing the uh theft or attempting to commit the theft. So let's say, for example, I uh, somebody goes into a grocery store, they take a snicker bar off the counter, and as they're leaving the store, uh, an employee tries to stop them, and they push the employee to the floor, and the uh, employee uh, bruises their elbow as they fall to the floor. That would be theft and assault happening at the same time. It satisfies this definition. In the course of committing theft, the person intentionally, knowingly, or recklessly caused bodily injury to another. So that would satisfy the elements of robbery. This would be very different uh, situation as, uh, for example, our same guy, he steals a sticker bar, he puts it in his pocket, uh, but as he walks out, he, he uh, accidentally bumps into somebody, somebody uh, that he bumped into uh, has a problem with that, and they have a little fight there, and our, our, our thief uh, punches the person, uh, in the face, causing an injury. Uh, we would have both a theft and an assault, but they don't really happen at the same time. It's The assault does not take place in the course of committing theft. It's incidental to the committing of theft. It does not further the commission of the attempt uh, or the attempt to commit theft. It's not in immediate flight after the commission uh, or attempt. We're not fleeing from anything. It's an unrelated assault. So in that case, this person would be charged with theft and assault separately. But when they happen at the same time in the course of committing theft, they would be a robbery. So this uh, is hard to uh, do without a human victim. You need somebody presently to uh, either cause bodily injury to or place in imminent fear of bodily injury or death. We do have one example uh, in, in Texas. I'm going to post this video next uh, of aggravated robbery that takes place when the offender never sees the victim. There's still a victim. But the offender never sees that particular person. So when we look at uh, A2, can you place someone in fear of imminent bodily injury or death if you don't know they're there? That'll be the question for the next video. So again, just to sum up, we're going to differentiate burglary and robbery pretty simply. Robbery is uh, using force to commit a theft, and burglary is an unlawful entry to commit theft. That's as simple as we can break those down. So just remember, when you talk about a robbery, there needs to be a human victim. Burglaries involve uh, uh, theft out of buildings and habitations, uh, or as we saw in the uh, 30.02, could be a, uh, a car, a vehicle, or a coin-operated machine. Um, but you will never walk into an empty house, see your, your belongings scattered around, and say, I've been robbed. Uh, you'll know it much sooner when it happens to you. Uh, the robbery. That is a burglary, uh, so let's use those terms uh, the way they're supposed to be in the future. Feel free to correct anybody out in the society that uses them incorrectly.